My name's Eric McMahon. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you guys coming out today. We're going to learn a lot about public speaking in this one-day training course. Uh, it really is the cornerstone of who we are. Your whole life is really a presentation, and you really want to be the best at it you can be. All right? Now, the only way you're going to get better at public speaking is by <laughs> standing up and giving a speech. Yeah, the, the, the information that I'm going to give you is great. The books that you read, they're great. The, the DVDs are great to watch. But really, the, truly, the only way you're going to get better at public speaking is actually standing up and giving a speech. Okay, point number one. This is right out of your handbook, too. Crafting your speech. Uh, craft your speech and craft it well. This is the first place that you need to understand. First thing you need to understand, craft a good speech. So you need to know your topic and your purpose. Your topic and your purpose is very important. Then the audience. Oh boy, here's a big one. As you mentioned earlier, sometimes folks just have these canned speeches that they just give to every audience. Every audience, same thing. It's like, wait a second. There's a lot of things that go into giving a speech be very cognizant of who your audience is, because who your audience is is going to determine how you craft your speech. Okay, it's very important. And then we have research. Oh boy, research. You always want to make sure you use current and reliable information. Okay, and then once that's done, you want to go with your first draft. That's always an outline form, but here you want to actually write them out in complete sentences. Write them out in complete sentences. Don't write paragraphs. Just write complete sentences. You know what you're going to talk about. You know the areas that you're going to cover. So write them out in complete sentences, okay? Intro, body, conclusion. This is what I'm going to cover. This is what I'm going to cover, okay? And then we go to step number two. Step number two is right there in your book. It's rehearsal. Now that you've got your sentences laid out in your, in your outline, you want to go even a step further and narrow it down to just simple words or phrases. Words or phrases, and then you start practicing. Never, ever, ever do you want to memorize a speech. People know it. You sound so scripted when you stand up. You sound very scripted, and one thing can throw you off. One trip up, and you've lost your place in your mind. It's like, where was I, where was I, where was I? You want to come across more conversational. Okay, next is time limits. Okay, time limits. We want to ensure that you stay within the guidelines of the time limits and constraints that are given to you. And number three, which we'll spend the bulk of our time on today once we go over it, is your delivery. Your delivery. I mean, you're on, it's showtime, it's time to deliver your actual presentation. So there's a lot of things that go into delivery. Oh boy, there's tons of things that go into delivery, and we're going to cover some of them. The first thing is, uh, you have to warm yourself up, and we're going to go through many warm-up exercises right once we're done here. And then you want to fight off the nerves. Now, if you've already done step one and step two of this process, your nerves should be somewhat in check, okay? And then we want to open our presentation really strong. Your opening statement, you should probably try to memorize that. And then we're going to work on finding their eyes, finding their eyes. Then lastly, we're going to go over in some great detail trip-ups, what I call trip-ups and out-of-pockets. Trip-ups and out-of-pockets. Things that could go wrong during your presentation, okay? Things that could happen during your presentation that will just trip you up. 